So this question is a diagram question. Really, any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. More specifically, what we have here is a bar graph. Okay, so this bar graph is all about the insect count for three pesticide treatments. We have three different colonies. We have colony A, colony B, and colony C. We can see in our bar graphs how each of those colonies are affected by the pesticides at week zero after initial treatment, so basically at the time of treatment, and then in two-week intervals after that treatment. Um, our y-axis represents the number of insects. So we can kind of get a good visual on how each colony is impacted over time. So the information provided to us here says three colonies of insects were each treated with a different pesticide over an eight-week period to test the effectiveness of the three pesticides. Colonies A, B, and C were treated with pesticides A, B, and C respectively. Each pesticide was applied every two weeks to one of the three colonies over the eight-week period. The bar graph above shows the insect counts for each of the three colonies, zero, two, four, six, and eight weeks after the initial treatment. So what are we being asked to find here in question 14? It says of the following, which is closest to the ratio? Okay, so first of all, as soon as I, there's certain words on this test that as soon as I see that word, it's like, okay, that's, that's key, right? Ratio on this test is gonna mean fraction. And whatever comes first after this word ratio will be the numerator, and whatever comes second will be our denominator. So which is closest to the ratio of the total number of insects in all three colonies in week eight? So I'm going to say total number of insects week eight. Okay to the total number of insects at the time of initial treatment, right? So this is going to be total number of insects week zero, right? That's the time of initial treatment. So let's figure out, well, what is, what is the numerator here? Total number of insects week eight. So week eight, we have for colonies, for colony A, so let's start there. This is 20. It looks like our colony A line is just below that. So I'm going to say colony A is equal to, let's call it 19. I could be off a little bit, but it, it shouldn't matter. And then colony B looks like it's about half of that. So colony B, I'm going to say is 10. And then colony C is up here above 40, below 60. Let's call it 50. So colony C is at 50. So all together I have 19 plus 10 plus 50, which is equal to 79, okay? And then for total number of insects at week zero, I look back to my bar graph and I just look here. So for colony A, it's exactly 80. So let's just do this. So it's 80. And then for colony, right, so that's 80. And then for colony B, we're above 60. Doesn't look like we're halfway to 70, though, so I'm going to call that 65. And then for colony C, we're just below 60. I'm going to call that, you know, I'm going to call that 58. Okay, so for, for a total number of insects at week zero, we have 80 plus 65 plus 58. When I throw that into a calculator, in fact, I'll just do it by hand here. I have 13, and then what's this? 11 plus 8 is 19, plus 1 is 20, so 203. Okay, so in essence, right, because I'm estimating, I'm going to just call this 80 over 200 to make my life easier. And then that makes it 8 over 20. And when I simplify that further, right, I can divide top and bottom by 4 and I get two over five. And two over five is the same as two, two, five. And therefore the correct answer here is choice A.